So, in this example, we are given one liter of blood at body temperature, and we're given Henry's constants for nitrogen and oxygen. We want to find the number of grams of N2 and the number of grams of O2 dissolved within one liter of blood found within our body. Now, as an example, let's take a section of our capillary found within our lung, and let's assume this section contains exactly one liter of blood or one liter of the red molecules. Now, a capillary is simply a very, very small vessel that carries blood. And within the capillary, oxygen and nitrogen can be exchanged with the environment. And we're using lungs because gases are exchanged within our lungs. So, uh, we want to find the number of blue molecules and the number of green molecules in terms of grams found within one liter of this blood. So, the first step is to realize that air is composed approximately 79% uh, nitrogen and approximately 21% oxygen. Now, this translates to 0.79 mole fraction of nitrogen and 0.21 mole fraction of oxygen. So, the first step is to use Rolle's law. But before we use a Rolle's law, we must assume that there is dynamic equilibrium between the gas molecules in the space above and the uh, gas molecules dissolved within our blood. So let's make that assumption. Now we can find the partial pressures of each gas um, by simply using the formula. Now before we use the formula, let's, let's uh, realize why we're using 760 mmHg. So the total pressure above, above our system uh, is the air that we're breathing in, is the pressure of the air that we're breathing in. And the air we're breathing in is at atmospheric pressure. And atmospheric pressure is 1 atm or 760 millimeters of mercury. So, to find partial pressure of oxygen, we simply multiply mole fraction by our total pressure, and we get 159.6 mmHg for oxygen and 600.4 mmHg for nitrogen. So, second step is to find the molarity. We can use these guys, the partial pressures, to find the molarity. Now, Henry's law states that we can find the molarity by simply taking our constant and multiplying by the partial pressure of the gas. Therefore, we get 1.66 times 10 to negative 6 times 159.6, and we get 2.64 times 10 to negative 4 molar for O2, or uh, moles per liter. Now we do the same thing except we change the partial pressure for nitrogen and the constant for nitrogen and we get 5.055 times 10 to negative 4 molar or moles per liter. The third step is to find the moles uh, of oxygen and the moles of nitrogen dissolved within our blood. To find the moles of oxygen we simply take our molar concentration, multiply that by one liter of total solution and we get 0 0.000264 moles of O2 and 0 0.0005055 moles for N2. Finally, we can use the moles, multiply that by the molecular weight of each respective compound. That will give us the number in grams of each compound dissolved within our system. So, molecular weight of oxygen which is 32 uh, grams per mole, multiplied by the moles, which is 0 0.000134 moles, gets us, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. This should be 0 0.00264 moles. So it's 32, let's make sure this is right, 32 times 0 0.0006, 264, and that is correct. Okay, so we multiply this out, we get this number of grams, and we multiply the molecular weight of nitrogen, 28 grams per mole, times 0 0.0005055 moles, and we get 0 0.014154 grams of N2. So, this amount of grams of O2 and this amount of grams of N2 is dissolved within our one liter of blood found in our capillary in our lung.